Welcome to the Die Laughing Records radio podcast. This is a special episode. This is what we will call breaking news because nobody's ever heard that term used ever on any kind of interview show or any kind of platform. And I want to be the first. I want Die Laughing Records to have the opportunity to be the first ever to use the word breaking news. Well, our breaking news is real special. It's from a band that is really, really focused and really in tune with breaking news. That band is San Francisco artist The Nerve. Yes, I said it. And now, without any further ado, let's get into the Die Laughing Records radio podcast with The Nerve. You're tuned into the Die Laughing Records radio podcast, Breaking News Edition. My name is Robert Trisler. I am the host of this episode of the Die Laughing Records radio podcast, Breaking News Edition. And truth be told, I can't wait to talk to the nerve. So in a moment, I'm going to get them on the phone and we're going to have some going back and forth with some questions being answered and hopefully get an idea of what's going on with their upcoming album. Now, I personally happen to have a lot of information and knowledge of what's going to happen. And so does Dave Dalton, the co-owner of Die Laughing Records with me. However, we want to introduce this information to you, the listener, the audience, the fan, the friend of the band, the people listening right now, and the, some people that have never heard the band. This is your opportunity to get to know the band. So here you go. Let's get this thing rolling with The Nerve, the Die Laughing Records radio podcast breaking news edition. Yay! Okay, so we got on this call, we got Niz, Chris, and Dee Dee. How you guys doing? Thanks for coming on the show. Oh, great. Thanks for having us. We're stoked to be here. Glad to hear. Um, recently, you guys played a show in San Francisco um, with the Vandals. And um, how was the event? Oh, it was so much fun. I remember back in high school, my punk rock friends and I would listen to Hitler Bad, Vandals Good in class. And the whole show was really entertaining. All the bands were great. The stage had this epic backdrop with the San Francisco city skyline and the Bay Bridge behind it. Yeah, TSOL, motorcycle racing, Roland Sands really put on an awesome event and uh, really looking forward to the next one as well. Right on. Well, let's get, in, uh, let's get into some more depth here. Let's get into the songwriting. So when you um, guys are writing, uh, who does the songwriting in the band and what motivates the band to make the music that you guys are doing? We collaborate as a band. Um, I write a lot of the music and, and Nis writes a lot of the lyrics or most of the lyrics. Um, she comes up with killer harmonies and her writing is on point with issues we're, we're facing as communities and as a planet. Yeah, in terms of motivation, I think music is like my therapy. So the nerve is an opportunity to, to scream about stuff that we're pissed about, and rage against the administration. You know, if, if you're paying attention to the news, politics can be really depressing right now. But I think it's important that we're having fun while we're fighting for change. And that's really what life is all about for me, you know, is enjoying the moment, but also trying to create a more positive reality. What is the nerve? I know it might seem a little silly, but what is the nerve? What does this band name mean for the people that have never heard of you? Uh, I don't know. You've got a lot of nerve, the nerve of it all. Have I struck a nerve? Yeah, you kids got some noise. <laughs> For me, it's about bravery. So not being complicit in the system. Silence is compliance. There's a funny story. I actually named the band before I was in it, but that's, that's a long story. <laughs> we'll get to it another time. Well, I appreciate you guys taking a shot at uh, answering that one. That's not always an easy one to answer. 
But I do have one that I think is a little more um, important for the masses in general. And uh, your music has a political theme to it. So what is your message in your music? Yes, we are (laughs) (laughs) pro-piratocracy. Actually, I think our songs are pretty straightforward. You know, I I, I try not to be um, too pedantic or prescriptive when I'm writing lyrics. But um, but at the same time, I don't want to make our meaning so obscure that people don't know what the heck we're talking about. But um, on our last album, Trust and Fire, we had tracks like The Unintended Consequences of Economic Sanctions, and Arab Spring. And on our upcoming album, we have Alternative Fats, which we're going to release now as a single, and Mitochondria of the City, which is also called Gentrification. <clears throat> I guess ideologically, I'm a social anarchist, and um, my personal belief is that people need to be more politically aware and participate to change the system and stop all these abuses that we're seeing of the corporatocracy perpetuating all this violence upon people. So looking at climate change, environmental abuse, big banks, neocolonialism, I think it's up to each one of us to do something. So I hope that our music gets people riled up to advocate for change. Well, you're obviously not a verse, chorus, verse type band. Yes, you end up with a verse, chorus, verse, but it's very well thought out. There's a lot of uh, information that you do make sure gets in there. And you guys seem to structure it very well. Um, And I know that you just got out of the studio recording a new record, and it's actually an EP. And with that being said, I know that this new EP you recorded... um, will be out on Die Laughing Records. There'll be uh, four singles put out in a row, and then the remaining songs into a physical and digital release. How do you guys feel about focusing on these singles? Well, it's a different approach uh, than we've done before, but I'm looking forward to it. It kind of gives us an opportunity to focus on one song at a time, and um, so I'm excited about that. Yeah, I think most people are listening to music digitally now, so... It'll be more effective for us to focus our energy on dropping each single and then building up to the record. And the vinyl itself will be more of a collector's item with some art and some secret bonus tracks that our our true fans can can get. As a record label, um, Die Laughing Records doesn't get involved with a band on what their subject matter is. We support you on what you're doing. And with um, you having your own topics that you would like to address in your songs. And with that said, with each single getting individual attention, today we're focusing on the single Alternative Facts, which will be the first track pushed off this uh, new EP. And this is just in time for the midterms, which was your goal is to get this out to be heard prior to the midterm election. Please explain your thoughts behind getting this out now. We're releasing this track. (laughs) We're releasing this track right now to motivate people to get out there and vote. So this song is kind of a humorous take on the heinousness of the Trump presidency. And uh, I think it's really important for, for every single person in the U.S. of A. to get out there and vote for progressives in the midterms and to, to get other people out to the polls so that we can take over the House of Representatives and impeach. We, we got to reach out to our friends and our family in red states, purple states. This could potentially be the most important election that we have witnessed yet. So there's a lot of destruction going on out there. So um, this song is, is to motivate people. We're also releasing a lyrics video, which is um, pretty kitschy. I taught myself an animation program <laughs> and, and made it DIY. Um, hope it makes you smile. So um, yeah, please go vote. Get other people out there voting. There's a lot of awesome voter guides like the uh, the League of Pissed Off Voters, IndieVoter.org. I like to also look at Greenpeace and the Sierra Club and our Bicycle Coalitions. There's tons of resources. Move On has um, has signups for calling voters um, to reach out to people who don't usually vote in the midterms but but tend to vote progressively. So um, please enjoy the track and get ye to the polls. Niz and Christopher, thank you. Here's the world premiere of Alternative Facts by The Nerve. Should be concerned. 
That was a hell of a track, guys. Wow. Well, I got more questions for you regardless. Um, let's get into the next one. This is uh, question number eight. And you had a track recently appear in the movie The Ranger. Uh, the track was Truth Be Told. Can you tell us what the track is about and how do you feel seeing it and hearing your music and what are some saying it is an instant cult classic horror flick? Some say it has the feeling for many movie fans that they got the first time they saw The Night of the Living Dead. How does that make you feel to be part of this? I was so stoked about it overall. But I got to take 10 of my friends out to the San Francisco debut. It was beyond for me. Uh, the soundtrack's awesome. 
the whole production and um, overall the film blew me away. The film blew me away. It had like an 80s or 90s feel to it with ghetto blaster and no cell phones and crazy designer drug that had all the kids messed up. The film exceeded my expectations and it was funny and scary all at the same time. <laughs> Winning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I totally went crazy in the theater when our track played. I love that this film bucks a lot of stereotypes. And it's, it's one of those movies that you think about afterwards, you know, a few days after. You're like, oh, yeah, that one scene, that was rad. Um, props to the female director and the, the ranger. As a film, it does feel kind of like Evil Dead, like meets Silence of the Lambs with some SLC punk sprinkled in. The whole soundtrack is super rad. It, it felt really nostalgic and kind of timeless to me, especially like debuting in San Francisco at the Alamo Draft House. I grew up in Austin, so Alamo Draft House started in Austin. The film debuted at South by Southwest. So there were a lot of ties in there that kind of gave me deja vu throughout the entire experience. Yeah. A shout out to Die Laughing for getting us the opportunity and for Mida for including us on the soundtrack. It was pretty pretty awesome okay guys so what's coming up next for the nerve uh do you guys have any uh new upcoming shows you want to talk about or announce <laughs> so uh i mean we're stoked about the release of the singles um the physical vinyl uh we're planning a tour with kittenhead and more early night 2019 is going to be a blast with the west coast and southwest tour being combined for march um our sites are also set on, on the East Coast, Japan, and Europe. So we'll see how that goes beyond 2000. Right? Yeah, and in the immediate term, we're putting together an acoustic set, which we'll be teasing in some more intimate venues. And um, the Full Throttle Nerve will be playing at a cancer benefit in Reno in December. Also with the On Dead in February, we've got a big show at um, Bottom of the Hill with scre Screaming Bloody Marys and... Um, I'm not sure who else is on that bill, but that's going to be a good one. Yeah, that'll be fun. That'll be like a, a little reunion with the Undead. We played a great show with them at uh, Slim's a while back. Anything you guys are leaving out at all? Um, anything else coming up on the horizon on top of what you already uh, mentioned? Some music videos for sure. Got tons of ideas. We're just pulling together resources right now to make stuff happen. Well, as you know, this was a special edition uh, breaking news, Die Laughing Records radio podcast. And um, since this episode was all about the nerve, um, obviously, since you're also a Die Laughing artist, we would love to have you back again. Um, but in the meantime, how can people find you online? What socials uh, do you want them going to? Our website is thenerve.net with no E on the end. So it's the N-E-R-V dot net. And there's links to all our social media on our website. Please follow us on Facebook so you can get invites to our shows. Um, we're at Facebook backslash The Nerve Band. Again, that's the N-E-R-V band. Our Instagram is also The Nerve Band. And you can subscribe to our YouTube channel so you're the first to get new videos as they're released. We'll be uh, posting a live video and our lyrics video to Alternative Facts up there soon. Well, Niz and Chris, thank you so much for coming on the show talking about the nerve and answering a bunch of questions and uh, playing alternative facts for us. It's been fun. Um, see you guys soon in person as well as um, talk to you soon on the web. In the meantime, thank you so much. Sweet. So um... thanks for having us. Thanks. To, uh, shout out to Die Laughing Records, uh, Cobra Side Distribution, The Ranger. Yeah, thanks so much yeah. for having us. Don't forget to vote. I'm winking at you. <laughs> Y'all rock. Thanks, big love. All right, guys, we'll talk to you soon. Um, want to shout out to um, my uh, co-owner and uh, normal co-host of this show, uh, Dave Dalton of Die Laughing Records, as well as Curtis Smith of Maelstrom Music PR for all your help on this podcast. And... Um, to the nerve themselves for their hard work they've been doing on this record and taking the time to get this interview done. And for anyone else that took the time to listen to this, please share this with your friends 
and uh, share it with people you think would find this interesting. And please make sure you get out there and vote. We got more music coming to you soon. Regular podcast every Friday on all the podcast platforms and every Wednesday on Radio Vegas dot rocks from 11 a.m. to 12 noon Pacific Coast time. Thank you. And thank you for listening to the Die Laughing Records radio podcast breaking news special edition with the nerve. Heartbeat sound, heartbeat sound, heartbeat sound. You don't have to listen anymore. See you later.